Hi, Lucy. How are you? I am good, Kat. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So I see that you're back in the office. Yes, so it's been a busy week at work, um, and I've fallen at work. Um, I fell. I was on a ladder trying to get some stuff out of the ceiling, and I fell. I bumped my head, my knee, and my left ankle. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Mm -hmm. I think what we should do is start off with a cranial nerve exam, okay. and then we'll go ahead and do the knee and foot examination. Okay. So I'll start off with just taking your vitals. Okay. Um, just gonna listen to your heart. Is it okay if I move this down? Yes. Okay, I'll have you take a deep breath in. And release. Do the same thing with the bell. So you have a strong heart beat. Good. When's the last time that um, you had the flu or a fever? Um, probably like last year. Okay, so it hasn't been any time recent. So no. Just go ahead and take your temperature. 97.7. .7. Okay, no signs of fever. Let's check your oxygenation. BPM is 84, the normal range as well. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken? Yes. Is this arm okay? Yes. So you will feel just a little bit of pressure. Just relax. Yeah, good. And have you ever had high or low blood pressure? No, but it, it's in my family history. Okay, good. I'm glad we're doing a quick check for that then. Are you currently in any pain? Um, my head is a bit dizzy. Um, my ankle hurts, but that's really it. Okay. We're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Okay. Over 75 is a good sign, not elevated. And do you have a headache or anything like that? Uh, yeah. A little bit. Um, so I hit my head actually behind my ear in a really sensitive spot. So it's radiating up towards my, like the top of my head. Okay. And are you having any ringing, or ringing in the ears? Yes. Okay. And are you feeling okay? I feel a bit weird. Do you mind if I just go get some water quickly? Oh yeah, for sure. <gasps> Are you okay? What? What happened? I think you should sit back. Oh my god. What happened? I think you fainted. Oh my god, that's never happened to me Okay, before. sit back down. Should we call 911? No, I think I'll just get you that water, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I have this bottle of water oh, for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, take, take a few sips there. Thank you. And if you end up feeling dizzy again, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Do you feel well enough to continue? Yes. Okay. I do. So I am just going to take a look into your eyes. Okay. And so what I'm going to have you do is um, just look at my nose. I'm just going to take a look. are dilating, reacting to light, which is great. So I'm gonna have you just follow the light for me. Okay. Okay, 
Okay. Do you feel dizzy from that at all? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know if you need a break. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to do a quick um, eye examination test. So I'm going to have you look at my nose, and I'm going to put my fingers in front of your face. Okay. I want you to tell me when you don't see my fingers anymore. Okay. No. 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 And tell me when you do see them. Perfect. So I have a Snellen chart here, and I would like for you. I have the Snellen chart here. I'd like for you to read the letter for me that I'm pointing at. P. O. D. C. L. H. C. T. C. Let me read the bottom line. L. T. F. Good. Is this green? Yes. What color is this? A uh, pink or red. What number of circle is the smallest? Two. And then the third biggest? Third biggest would be seven. Okay, perfect. I'm going to have you put this above um, your right eye. Okay. And tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. Five. Okay, and the other eye? Oh, yeah. Uh, three. Me this. Does that mean I have a concussion? It might mean that you have a concussion, um, but we're going to keep going, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a really quick look at your retina, um, okay. just to make sure that hasn't been damaged at all. Um, that could be causing some of the dizziness, or okay. it might just be like the ear has been damaged. Okay. But let's go ahead and check the eye. Okay. So I'm going to have you look this way for me. Okay. I'm just going to come close and take a look. All right, so it looks like the retina is still attached, which is good. I'll have you look up. No popped blood vessels. No signs of redness. Okay, does that ear hurt? Sorry, does that eye hurt all? I don't no. Know. Good. I'll check the other eye now, so I'll have you go this way. Okay, so the retina is attached very good, and I don't see any popped blood vessels. I'll have you look up. No excessive tearing. Perfect. Any pain? No. Good. I'm going to move on to checking your ear. Okay. So um, this side wasn't as um, hurt as the other one, right? Yes. Okay, I'll have you look this way. Okay. And I'm just going to have a feel of the ear here. Any pain? No. I love your earrings, by the way. Thank you. So I'm just going to have a look. I want to make sure that there's the eardrum isn't shattered. So I'm going to pull your ear back. OK. OK, so I see the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. Very good. I don't see any signs of bleeding or Obstruction of any kind, which is really good. We'll definitely do a, a hearing test on that side as well. Okay. Um, but I'll move on to your other ear. Thank you. So I'm going to have you face uh, this way. Okay. Be very gentle with this side. I feel like you did hurt yourself. So this side is probably a little sorry. Yeah, it is. I also do have a bump just behind my ear uh, where it hit as well. Um, um, I do see that, yes, unfortunately. Yeah. And how long ago was this? Um, this happened Monday, so about four days. Does look like it is healing. Okay. When it starts to show like a darker purple, um, but I would definitely keep an eye on it, especially if you're getting like, if you're fainting. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely. If you do have another fainting spell, um, you might want to just head over to the ER. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you look this way. Yeah. Okay, so the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. There's no sign of bleeding or bruising on the inside. Maybe just a little bit um, more towards the front of the earlobe here. Nothing to be too concerned about. Have you been vomiting at all? 
Um, no, but I felt very nauseous. Okay. Let's do a really quick hearing test. I have um, what I call a tuning fork here. Okay. That's the sound that it makes. Okay. So I want to make sure you can hear the same on both sides. And so just say yes when you hear it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Did you do it? Yes. I didn't hear it. But now I can hear it. Yes. Good, okay. Is it a little bit more muffled on that side? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I want you to tell me if this is closer or further away. Okay. Closer. Further away. Further. Closer. Okay. Let's do another uh, little test here. I'm gonna okay. spray um, this side and then this side. Okay. I want you to tell me if it sounds the same on each side. Okay. Um, this one felt closer. Okay. Yes. Good, okay. Um, I'm also going to do, do you hear this? Yes. And this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just say which ear it is when you feel it. Left. Right. Right. Left. Very good. And I want you to just tell me, um, I'll have you actually close your eyes and uh, guess the sound. Water. Sounds like water. Okay, so I have two water Maybe. sounds. This okay. is one. Okay. Okay. One. Can you tell the difference between them? Yes. So this will be one. Okay. This will be two. Okay. One. Two. Two. One. One, one, two. Great. All right. Did you um, hit your nose at all? No. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put some gloves on and I'll have a really quick feel of the nose just to make sure that it's not broken or okay. fractured or anything like that. Okay, thank you. And since I have my gloves on, I'm going to also just have a quick feel of overall of your face. Okay. And your, um, your scalp as well, your head. I don't feel any bumps, so that's good. There might be a piercing feeling on this side, is that correct? Yes. And how about this side? Uh, no, not on that side. How you open your jaw just a little bit? Any pain? No. And let me close your jaw and I'm just having a feel of your nose. And have you ever broken your nose before? No. Any discomfort? No. And what about the sinuses? Um, it's a bit tender. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a uh, smell test. Okay. Just to see if your senses are still in order, your cranial senses. Uh, strawberry. Good. Um, banana? Yes, very good. Perfect, good job. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to move on to do a um, taste test. Okay. I'm just gonna start off by having a look into your mouth just to make sure that there's no broken teeth. All right, very good. Perfect, no broken teeth. Um, did you bite your tongue at all during the fall? No, um, but the sides of my cheek, like when I fell, it just kind of got pushed into. Gotcha, um, do you mind yeah. just going like this with your yeah. hands? Okay, we do, I do see a little bit of redness there. Mm -hmm. um, 
But it's not bleeding currently, so no. as long as it's not bleeding, you should be good. Mm -hmm. It started to peel here. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. you scraped a bit mm -hmm. of your skin. It might come off. You might have it flake into your mouth, and you can just, like, spit it out. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's go ahead and do a taste test just to make sure your cranials for your taste sensation are working properly. Wait, did I get it? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, sorry, right. Sorry, it's I just wasn't looking. All right, let me know what does that taste like. Mm, um, blue Raz. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good flavor. It is my favorite. Let's oh, go. Last, last time I was here, you had a really good grape one. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. I make my own tincture. Oh, I really like them. Yeah, I'll have to give you some. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is sharp or dull. Um, I'll do this on your face, your chest area, your legs. Is that okay. all right? Yes. Perfect. This is sharp. Okay. That's dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. dull. Sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, 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 dull, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. All right, I'm going to do sharp, dull, or cold now. This okay. is cold, okay. Okay. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Cold. Cold. Sharp, dull, cold. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on your knees. Okay. Um, I'm going to listen uh, to your knees with my stethoscope and do a few tests just to see if one is more immobile than the other. Okay. Um, and also on my uh, the paper that I am for or filled out before this, I got surgery on my left leg twice. Oh, okay. Thank you yeah. for telling me. Actually, I do see the scars, so I'll do a few measurements on those. Perfect. Thank you. And I'm just going to take my gloves off. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, if it's okay with you, I'll have you lift up your leg and cross it over yeah. to that. Are you comfortable? Yes. So let me go ahead and take a quick look at the scars here. So it looks like you've got one that's sort of about an inch. Um, I'll do a measurement there and then another one here. Another one there. Is it? Is it just the three? And then this one. Oh, wow. That's the main one. Ouch. So what was the reason for this? So I actually got two surgeries. I tore my ACL in high school playing soccer. Um, and then I tore it again a year later. So I had to get two surgeries. Wow. And how are you um, doing after that? It's, it's okay. It's, it's not painful when it's warm out, but when it's cold outside, it's pretty tough to get uh, working and moving. Oh, that makes sense because you might have, do you have any metal in there? Uh, no, I don't, actually. They said one more, and I would. Okay, I'm just going to measure the body fat. Does this hurt at all? No, it's pretty numb there, actually. Really? Okay. So it's about an inch and a half. Wide. And then about... Just about half an inch wide, actually. The, the length was one and a half, and then just... Okay, perfect. Let me take a look at this one here. This, um, when I fell at work, this is actually the knee that I 
hit, so I was just worried about it. Yeah, no, for sure. That's, um, I'm really glad that you told me because it's important to check this out. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Okay, so no discomfort there. Is it yeah. numb as well? Um, it's pretty numb, yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do a measurement. So this one looks like it's about the same sort of thing here, but it's not as... Um, doesn't show up as much as this one. This one's quite intense there. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any bruising on them, which is good. Do a really quick check on this one here. One inch wide and quarter. Or one inch long, so about that and quarter of an inch wide. Mm -hmm. Two. Um, two since my fall, there's, I have a scar down here, and um, there's been a bump that's come up. I don't know if it's a concern or if it's just scar tissue right there. I didn't have that before the fall. Um, I just don't know if that's something I should get checked out before. Hmm, I think it might just be scar tissue because, I mean, on a scale of one to ten, how does this feel? It's numb. It's, it's not very painful. Um, the fact that it's numb and it's not a full scar worries me just a little because yeah. you should be having feeling there. Um, yeah. Let's do a quick sensation test. Okay. So I want to make sure that you can feel cold. This is cold. Okay. And then let me do a sharper dull test. I'll have you close your eyes and we'll get started. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Okay, so you do have your sensations. Um, I'm just thinking maybe the nerves that are more located towards the inside of the leg that are deeper, mm -hmm. um, they might have been affected by the fall. Yeah. So I think we'll have you um, get checked out um, elsewhere for that because okay. I'm a specialist for that. Okay. But what I'll do is I'll have you um, refer to my friend. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do sharp, dull, or cold on the other places here, the other scar tissue. Okay. Um, so on that one, I know it's the cold one, but it doesn't, I don't feel cold. I just feel smooth. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not sensitive to temperature? No. Sharp. Dull. Uh, uh, cold? Yes. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same okay. test on this one right here. Okay. Um, cold. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. Um, uh, dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Oh, sorry. Cold. Dull. Good job. So you're getting most of them correct. Thank you. I'm going to do a really quick, um, gentle massage. Thank you. Just help release um, the inflammation that you've got going on. That's very nice, thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you close your eyes and I want you to tell me um, what this feels like on your on your knee. Uh, by Kibo. Good. So this is just another method of reducing that inflammation there. Is there any chance you can write me a referral to get physical therapy? I definitely will. I think you Thank should you. you should definitely go to physical therapy for sure. Thank you.
What I'm going to do next is I'm going to have you lay down. Okay. I'm going to focus on that ankle, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, is it okay if I remove your socks? Yes. Okay. I love your socks, by the way. Thank you. Another thing that I wanted to do that I forgot was tapping on there. Do you feel that? Yes. And that? Yes. Barely. Gotcha. How is this knee? Any uh, surgeries on here? Uh, no. No surgeries. I'm gonna just tap on your bony prominences. Okay. Any pain? No. Ow. That's where the bruising is. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry That's about okay. that. My apologies. It's okay. It's just Let me bit. do a really quick measurement. Okay, okay? Yeah. It's just very tender. Yeah, so sorry. Okay, so the bruise here, it looks like it's two inches long and just about two inches wide. Okay, let me just check that with my other measuring tool. 3.4. Let me measure the angle to see if this one's more swollen uh, than this one. Okay. So, uh, so I'm just going to measure this. So that's eight and a half inches. Okay. The calf ear. Are you able to go like this? Yes. Eight and a half, so it's the same, so it's not swollen. Thirteen, perfect. Good news is, is they're not necessarily swollen right now. Okay. Let me check. Nine. All right, okay. Let's do a quick um, sensation test. So I'll do that more so right here to see if you can feel. Okay. This is sharp. Okay. This is dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Sharp, dull, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. Bring that one up if you can. Sharp. Dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull. It's too sharp, dull, or cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. 
Sto. Cold. Sto. Sharp. 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 Cold. Sharp. Do. Do. Sharp. Cold. Okay. I'm going to use my acupressure tool and I just want you to say yes when you feel it. Uh, yes. 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 All right, now were your toes hurt at all? No. Okay. I'm just gonna wiggle them, just check, uh, double check to see if there's any discomfort. Okay, I'm going to wiggle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, just tell me which one. Three, two, five, four, one, one, two, two, four, three, four, three, five, five, two, two. I'm going to go ahead and measure the toes really quick. Just scrape one toe, just um, say which one it is. Okay. Three. One. Five. Two. Four. One. Three. Two. Four. I'm going to write a letter on your uh, top of your feet here, okay. and I just want you to spell them and then spell the name after, or say the name or the okay. word after. I'm going to spell a word. A. S. M. R. Perfect. I'm just going to put your socks back on. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, so I think you're a little bit banged up. Um, it didn't seem like you had any more signs of uh, fainting throughout mm -hmm. the examination. Um, but please be careful. Make mm -hmm. sure you get lots of rest tonight. Yeah. If you feel dizzy again, just make sure you have your phone by you so you can call someone. Yeah. Um, I think you were just pretty banged up. I'm surprised you didn't get a concussion. Yeah. So. I would get that rest and uh, make sure you're doing lots of water and maybe take some ibuprofen for the pain. Definitely. Um, and your ankle, it's not super swollen. I just see a bruise, which okay. is um, normal. I see it healing. Okay. 
Should I ice it or heat it? Or? I would say ice. ice yeah, it? Okay. definitely. I would say ice your ice your ankle and heat your um, your neck and shoulder area. Okay, thank you. Do you have a heating pad at home? I do. Yeah. Good. I would use that. Okay. Other than that, if you have any other concerns, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Hi, Dr. Kath. Hello. What brings you into my office today? I've been having some very tingly sensations in my face, my scalp, and my feet. And I also just, um, I can't wear my high heels anymore because of that, which is a problem because I enjoy wearing high heels. And um, I think I could benefit from a foot massage and a leg massage. If that's something that you could help me out today, I'd be very grateful. Yes, of course. And I did hear as well that you had um, a knee replacement. Um, no, I had a knee injury last year. Okay. Yes, I was riding my bike and I fell and I hit my knee. I didn't get it replaced, though it healed on its own. I didn't even need surgery, but it did put me out of commission for a couple of months. Gotcha. As you're sitting here, are you able to lift the knee for me? Yes. Any pain? No pain, no. All right. And are you able to lift this knee? Yes. Any pain? No pain. Great. And I also noticed in um, the forearm that you had a little bit of a tingly scalp and face. Yes. Usually after I take a cold shower, I will feel a light prickling on my face and my scalp. And it goes away after I apply cream. Okay. Let me just put my gloves on so I can have a feel of your face. Okay. As well as your scalp. And what we'll do is start off with a cranial nerve assessment and get on to the lower half of your body. Sounds good. Here. Any pain? Mm, no pain, no. I do feel the tingly sensation, so. Okay. Are they strong or just like. Don't feel any bumps on the head. I'm going to check the scalp really quick for any discoloration. Move my way to your T zone here. I'm not noticing any lesions of any kind. Any pain around your eyes? No, not in the moment, but I usually get very dry eyes at night. And they start itching and um, they cause me to kind of tear up a bit. I want you to lift your eyebrows for me. Don't let me push them down. And I'd like for you to shrug your shoulders for me. Don't let me push them down. Very good. I'd like for you to hold your head straight. Don't let me move it. And again. Don't let me bring it down or up. I'd like for you to wiggle your fingers. Make this sign with your hands. Okay. And don't let me push through. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that you can follow the light with your eyes. Are you okay with the light in your eyes for a brief moment? Yes. Good. Just follow the light. Good. Down. Up. Good. All right. Take a moment to recuperate there. 
And let me just have a really quick feel of the head here and the sinuses and the lymph nodes. Do you wear contacts? Yes, I have very bad eyesight. Okay, I will be taking a look inside your eyes. I'm gonna have you look over here. Taking a look inside of the eye. Everything looks good so far. The optic nerve is healthy. I'll have you look all the way up if possible. No popped blood vessels. Eyelash distribution is normal. Lovely. Go ahead and do the other side. I could just have you look this way. Okay. I'm going to gently pull your eye down. And just having a look at the optic nerve. It looks healthy and intact. Uh, last distribution is normal. And are you able to look all the way up for me? No popped blood vessels. Very good. Go ahead and blank it. I'm going to move on to the ear on this side. I'm going to pull it up, back, and down. Any pain? No. All right. I'm going to take a look inside the ear. Looking for a tympani membrane. All right. I do see the tympani membrane, and it is pearl gray. It looks healthy and intact, and I don't see any earwax whatsoever, no crusting or anything. Your ear canal is very healthy. Let's do a really quick hearing test. I want you to guess this sound, okay? It sounds like uh, something that's clipping, maybe plastic. Yes, it's um, coffee beans in a plastic bottle. Okay. Good job. Do you hear my fingers? Yes. Great, I'll move to the other side. To move on to this ear, and I'll have you move your head this way if you can with ease. I'm going to pull the ear up, back, down. Any pain? No pain. Let me take a look inside the ear here. Checking for the tympanic membrane. It is pearl gray and almost see-through. And you have no earwax at all. No scabbing of any kind. It looks very healthy. Do you take pretty good care of your ears? I try to, yes. I would like for you to guess this sound. It's a click, a clicker. Yes. Oh, maybe you're turning on and off a light. Exactly. Okay. Very good. I'm going to now focus on your nose, a very light palpation. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Breathe in. Breathe in. Keep your eyes closed. This is a smell test. Coffee beans. Good. I'm going to take a look inside your mouth. I have a tongue suppressor here. I just want to make sure there's no signs of thrush or tonsillitis. I'll have you open your mouth. Say hello. <laughs> no swollen tonsils. Teeth look clean. Very good. I brush three times a day. Nice. When's the last time you had onset of a cold or flu? It's been a couple of months, which is usually rare for me because I'm usually sick. 
But um, yeah, it's been in more than three months, I'd say. Okay, that's good. Let's do a really quick swab of the sides of your mouth. Okay. Just in case, for cautionary purposes. Thank you for that. Thank you. What I'd like to do next is do a very quick sensation test on your face. Okay. And since you said you were having some tingly sensations, I just want to make sure you can feel. Yeah, they're right here. And going up the scalp, where I usually part my hair down the middle. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I want you to tell me when you feel this sensation is going to feel like this, okay? Mm -hmm. When you feel it and when it stops. I felt it and it stopped. Now just tell me when you feel it. Yes. 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 I feel it. I'm going to do a hot or cold test. This is going to be cold. This is going to be hot. Cold. Hot. Cold, hot, cold, hot, hot, cold, hot, hot, cold, cold, hot, hot. I'm going to do a sharper doll sensation test. This is doll. Okay. This is sharp. Okay. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Let me know when you feel this. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yes? I am now going to focus on the knee area. Are you able to lift this leg just a little bit up? Yes. Okay, I want you to close your eyes and tell me when you feel this. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yes. And the other one? I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Stay right there. I'm going to do a measurement of your knees. 4.3. Three point five, five point five, two point four. I'll do the other side very quickly here if it's okay. Five point four. I'll do a very quick sharper doll on your knees. Okay. Left or right? Right. Okay. Is this sharper doll? Sharp. Doll. Doll. Sharp. Doll. Sharp. And the other one. Okay. Sharp. 
Doll. Doll. Sharp. Perfect. I'm going to have you lay down now, face down, so we can focus on the soles of your feet and give you a very gentle massage on the calves. That would be awesome, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to start off by measuring your calves to make sure that one is not bigger than the other. So I'm just going to measure the calf here. 1.3 Alright, to use another measuring tool on the heel to use my tool here. This is what it feels like. Okay. Just say yes when you don't feel it anymore. Yes. 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 I'm going to do a sharper doll test. This is doll. This is sharp. Doll. Sharp. 
Tell me when you feel this. Yes, I feel it. No. 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 I'm going to use my reflex hammer on your calves. Let me know if you feel any discomfort. Any discomfort? No. I'm going to give you a light massage with my globes. going to give you a very comfortable massage. I'm going to add some oils first. It should be very relaxing. I'm just going to apply some oil to your leg.
going to add just a little bit more oil since it dried up quite a bit. Are you enjoying your massage so far? Super tense right here. Just gonna grab any touch there. some oil to this hat since it's drying up quite a bit. Feet are quite tense on the bottom as well, as well as the heel. Yes, they are.
going to use this little sponge on your legs to check for a reaction. measurement of your heels and calves. I'm just going to finish off with another globe, ice globe massage, since this is very therapeutic, okay? Okay. up when you're comfortable. You should be feeling much better after that long therapeutic massage. I am. Thank you so much. Wonderful. So I don't see anything that's of obvious concern. You have great sensation right now. If anything pops up in the next week or two, just feel free to give me a call. I will. Thank you again. You are wonderful. Thank you. Hello. I see that you're here for a knee and foot podiatry exam. You right. think that you might have cracked your knee and your ankle? Um, yes, my left leg and foot. I was walking down a flight of stairs yesterday and I tripped at the very bottom of the stairs and I just toppled over. I think I hurt my head a little bit, but it's mostly my left leg and foot. It hurts so much. I'm so sorry to hear about that. We'll definitely start off with your vitals. I uh, just want to make sure, do you need a cup of water or anything? Um, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Are you feeling nauseous or dizzy? I've been feeling a little bit dizzy last night, right after the accident happened. But in the morning when I woke up, I was just fine. Great. Um, all right. Well, let me go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to put my gloves on. And so when did the accident occur? Yesterday afternoon. 
Okay. Do you think you have any swelling? It hurts to press on it, so that could have happened, yes. Some swelling. Okay. It's definitely present. All right. Because it feels like a pad when I'm trying to push on it. Okay. So have you been having any fever symptoms or anything like that? Hot, cold flashes? Mm, I don't believe so, no. All right. Go ahead and start off with checking your temperature. We'll just try that one more time. Okay. 98.7, which is not indicating any signs of fever. Let's check your oxygenation and heartbeat per minute. We'll just set that down. I hurt myself right here at the top of the forehead a little bit. I landed in a uh, piece of furniture, actually. Wow, I'm so sorry about that. I'll definitely get you checked out for sure. Yeah, right here. Let me go ahead and check your heart and your lungs. Okay, now you breathe in. And out, good. Breathe in. And out. And again. And again. Check with the bell here. I do hear S1, S2. Strong heartbeat. No crackling in the lungs. Very good. Heartbeat sounds strong. Let me just look at what the beats per minute is. 102, normal, and 97% oxygenation. Normal as well. That's good. I do want to check your blood pressure though to see if it's elevated from the pain. On a scale of one to 10, how bad is your pain? My knee, about a five. My leg and my would uh, maybe a five and a half, six. It hurts a little bit more towards the bottom of my foot. Okay, thank you for letting me know. And my head is a two. It hurts too, for sure. All right. Sorry. All right, let's just slide this all in. Good. So I'll make sure that you don't have any elevation there. Okay, so just breathe normal. Very good. I'll pull that off for you. Thank you. So I saw that you're here because you hurt your knee and your ankle. What happened? Tell me about it. Yes, Dr. Kath. So I was going down a flight of stairs yesterday and I fell from about the middle of the, the stairs mm -hmm. and I la landed in a piece of furniture right <gasps> here. No way. It hit me. And we have I, right see there. I have a bump right here. And I hurt my left leg. <gasps> no. My knee and my foot. <gasps> wow, I'm so sorry about that. Um... I, I feel it's a little bit swollen. It is swollen, yes. We'll definitely have to take a look at everything. Are you feeling okay after that fall? I was okay. I didn't lose consciousness. Um, I didn't pass out or anything, but um, I had a very splitting headache after <gasps> that. And I was a little bit dizzy. I went to bed. I put a, a cold press on my leg and my foot. Good. And I woke up in the morning and I was okay, but I'm still in pain right now. 
my head and my leg and foot. So sorry. We'll definitely get started on checking your vitals and checking your cranial nerves, first of all, because you had bumped your head, you said. I'm so sorry to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by putting on my gloves. Sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need a cup of water or anything before we get started? No, I'm good. And thank you for seeing me in such a short notice. Oh, no, for anything for you. So have you had any um, flu-like symptoms? Mm, no flu-like symptoms, no runny nose, no sore throat. Um, other than the headache, nothing else has been going on with me. Okay, so doesn't look like you have a fever. It's running at 98.9. Let me check your heartbeat per minute plus your oxygenation. We'll just sit that down. I'm gonna have a listen of your heart. So I'm just gonna let this, that's okay. And I'll have you breathe in. And breathe out. And listen with my belt. Breathe in. And breathe out. Heart sounds strong. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one more time. Okay, very good. Your heart is strong. And um, you don't have any crackling in your lungs, so that's a good sign that you didn't hurt your lungs during the trip. Looks like your oxygenation is 97, beats per minute is 95, fairly normal, nothing to be worried about there. Do you want to just have a really quick feel of your face and your head just to see if there's a bump on the head? Currently do not feel a bump or a lesion. Okay, I don't see any blood or anything like that. I'm just gonna have a feel of your face. And checking your tonsils and your thyroid glands. Any pain? No. Open your jaw just slightly. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. No. All good. Perfect. What I'm going to do is just a few um, cranial tests. And so I'm going to have you lift up your eyebrows and don't let me push them down. I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders. Don't let me push them down. Okay. I'm going to try to move your head. Don't let me. The other side. I'm going to try to push back. And forward. Okay, very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a really quick look inside your mouth. Um, I just want to see if you bit your tongue. So could you just open your mouth? Okay, just having a look. Your teeth look good. I don't see any broken teeth. Lift up your tongue. Perfect. I don't see any sign of blood loss. Okay, you can close your mouth. Let's do a quick taste test. I'll have you close your eyes. What does that taste like? Peppermint. Yes, exactly. Very good. 
Now, have you ever had a deviated septum? No. Okay. I'm going to just have a feel of your nose here. Did it hurt at all after you fell? No. I was mostly hurt right here in the top of my forehead. Gotcha. Mm, that hurts a little bit, yes, when you're touching it. Okay, I don't see too much of a bump, but I do see a little bit of redness, which is a cause of concern. Um, what we should do is keep an eye on it. I think that's going to turn into a bruise-like color. Uh -huh. If it starts to turn purplish and a little bit dotted, then it should be like green-purplish. It should be healing at that point. So I was afraid of a big bruise on my forehead. Yeah, it looks like there's definitely going to be a bruise. I'm so sorry. But I do think that you will just need a couple of days to let that to get better. Would it help to place an ice patch on it? And keep yes. It, maybe keep it overnight. I was thinking, I don't know if that would be good over the head. It would be, definitely. I would okay. do that for sure for the next five nights. Sounds good. So I'm going to take a look up your nose just to make sure you don't have a deviated septum. Good. Good. Okay. How's your sense of smell? It's always been pretty bad. Because I have allergies, I'm not able to smell that much. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you smell this tincture anyway. Okay. Oh, I can smell that. That's lemon. Yes, that is correct. I had to double check for you. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to move on now to um, your eyes. I just want to take a really quick look inside of them. So I'm just going to have a really quick look. Good, look up for me. Okay. And let's just have a really quick look at this one. Perfect. Look to your right, to your left. Okay. Look to your right. To your left, good. Now I'm gonna have you follow the light with your eyes. Good, okay. Can you tell me really quickly what colors you see on here? Green, blue, red, orange, yellow. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have a feel of your ears. Pulling them down, pulling up, back. Mm. This ear hurts a little bit, yeah. Oh, do that. interesting. Let me go ahead and just have a really quick look. You might have, um, you might have scratched it a little. Aha, uh -huh. the culprit. Looks like you've got yourself a little scratchy scratch on there. I would just be really easy on it. Try not to sleep on that side if you can. I do want to make sure you can hear properly though. Okay. So I'll have you close your eyes as you are. And I want you to tell me what this sound sounds like. A spray bottle. Yep, spray bottle. Good. Tell me what this sounds like. A puff of air. Puff of air, yes. A puff of air right there. Okay, and now I want you to point to this sound. So you can hear from that ear, that's good. Good job. You go ahead and palpate on your face. Just let me know if it hurts. Obviously, it's going to hurt here, so I'm going to avoid that.
Any pain there? No. My bones seem to be okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm going to pressure point your face. I just want you to say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. Going to do a few really quick sharp or dull tests. This is sharp and this is dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Now I'm going to touch you with a cold device. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Lovely. I'd like to focus on the knee here. Are you able to lift it for me? I believe so. Let's see. Okay, very good. Thank you for doing that. I'm going to do a few tests, okay? Okay. I'm going to start off with just a very simple light examination. So I just want to examine the area. I don't see any possible signs of um, scarring or bruising at this moment here. So, it does hurt right here and here. Okay, so right over here. Yeah. Have you ever had knee surgery before? No. So it's never happened before? No. After the fall it happened. You might have tore your meniscus, which might have to result in surgery. Um, but I do want to just double check everything. I can't really diagnose until I've done some measurements and I've done a few tests. So we'll go ahead and start by using my massage tool. We're going to go ahead and start by using my measuring tool here. And I just want to see here. 4.3 okay and then this is where the pain was more so 2.5 So I have trouble just stretching my leg all the way up. It kind of hurts more when I stretch it. Definitely a sign of meniscus tearing. We'll do a few exercises in a little bit here. I just want to make sure that your sensations are working properly. Okay. Do you feel this? Yes. Okay, tell me when it stops. Keep your eyes closed. Tell me if this is hot or cold. 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 Okay. Do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. Just say yes when you feel it. 
I feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth acupressure. It's gonna maybe be a little bit sensitive, so just let me know. I do wanna just see if you can feel into the bone, okay? Yes. 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 That's good news. Let's do a sharp or dull test. going to just palpate. Let me know if you feel any pain. Any discomfort? Mm, yes. Towards the bottom part of my knee, when you percuss, definitely I can feel pain. So right here? Yes. It's not too bad, but I feel it. Okay. That's an interesting situation as it radiates down. I think I'm going to have you stand up and do a few exercises for me, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my gloves. I'll have you stand. All right, I want you to lift your leg up like this. Okay, and then I want you to move your leg out like this. Any pain? Yes, when I flex like this, for sure. Okay, where do you feel it? Down the tibia bone. Gotcha, okay. Does it radiate down to your foot? Yes. Your ankle area? Definitely. Okay. All right, do the other leg. I just wanna see if it's painful at all. No pain here, no. No, okay. All right, are you able to do a little jump? Yes. Perfect. What I'd like for you to do is lay down and I'd like to focus on uh, your ankles and the soles of your feet, okay? Okay, sounds you're good. Gonna, you're gonna be able, to, I'm, I'm confident that we were going to be able to find out what exactly is wrong so I can send you to a specialist. I have no doubt. Mm. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of an assessment here. So you said you're feeling the pain radiating all the way down and no pain on this side. That's right, it's my left leg that's hurt. Okay. No pain in the right arm. Do you feel this? Yes, I can feel that. Do you yeah. feel this? Yes. Okay. I'm going to do a really quick Babinski test. Sharp object under the foot. Good. Very good. I'm just going to use my reflex hammer on your toes. So this will be number one, two, three, four, five. Can you just tell me which one I am? Excuse me. Now I'm going to use my reflex hammer to check your sensation. Do you feel this? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. Yes. Which toe? My big toe. My pinky. Okay, good. Can you wiggle both your toes, all your toes? Good. I'm just gonna lift this leg up slightly. I want you to tell me if you feel any pain. Yes, especially when you stretch it out. It hurts. Okay. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. Let me know if the pain worsens or gets better. Oh, um, it, it gets better a little bit, actually. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's great, yes. Can you wiggle your feet? Okay, I want you to rotate them for me. Oh, it hurts right there. Okay. Does it hurt on the outside or on the inside? 
more so on the outside when I try to go that way. Starting to think that you might have cracked your kneecap as well as the bone on the outside of your leg. You might just have a few fractures. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. I'm gonna lift it up. Any discomfort? No. Can you wiggle your toes and move your feet? Good. Yeah, the I can rotate. Around. Yes. The other way. Okay, very good. Let's do a sensation test on the lower leg here to see if you can feel. Okay. We're going to do sharp or dull, so let me know what you feel. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. You don't seem to have sensation problems. Do you want to just do a few more tests here? Okay, so do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. This? Yes. And this? Yes. Okay. Do you feel this? Yes. Is it cold or warm? Yes, it's cold. Okay. And just let me know when you don't feel it anymore. No. No. Alrighty. I'm going to measure the ankles. Well as the calves. So we're at So yes, like I said, I think I am just um, going to have you sent to a specialist to help maybe give you a cast of some sort, okay? So can you push up against my hands? Okay. And again. Okay, so you definitely have more strength on this side. What I'm going to get you to do is I'm just going to have you turn around so I can focus on the soles as well as the back of the knees. I'm just going to go ahead and put my gloves on for this part here. And are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Yes. Good. Okay. Are your calves sore at all? Yes, both of them. They're very sore. Are you sore over here? Yes. Any pain under your feet? Oh, not in the right one, more so on the left one. Okay. I'm gonna pull on a toe and I want you to tell me which one it is. Big toe. Penultimate toe. Pinky toe. Okay. Any pain as I move your ankle this way? No. And this way? No. And this way? No. No. Okay, very good. Wiggle your toes. All right. Do you feel this? Yes. 
Do you feel this? Yes. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to have a feel of just like here. That don't hurt yet. Sore calf, okay. Yes. I can't recall, did you say, um, were you running at all or were you just walking? I was just walking down the stairs and I tripped and fell. No running. Oh, that's good. Can you rotate your foot for me? Any other way? Any pain? Yes, right there. Okay, so this one has pain on this side? Yes. Interesting. Hmm, push against my hand? Oh, I can't press too much. How about now? A little bit, maybe. You might have rolled this ankle. Let's go ahead and do some massage therapy. I will just start off with sensation before I do that. So just let me know. Do you feel this? Yes. This? Yes. This? Yes. That? Yes. This? Mm-hmm. That? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to try something on you. I want you to tell me if it's comfortable or uncomfortable. Feels good. Good. Okay. It should feel good. I'm just going to loosen up the muscles a little bit. my little spiky tool here to loosen up any of those damaged nerve endings. How does that feel? That feels really good actually. Oh yes, if you can press a little harder there. Oh How's yes, that? that's perfect. Definitely, I can feel it for sure. Mm. You might even find that you feel better after this. Tell me when you stop feeling the cold sensation. No. 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 No.
No. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of pressure point therapy before I get into the massage. Do you feel this? Yes. Say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to add some oil. Wow, you got quite the tensed up muscle there. Must have been from the fall. No, it's a big knot. I usually have knots in my calves.
Let me sit up. How do you feel after that long leg massage? I'm feeling so much better, so much more relaxed. Great, it looks like you can bend your leg without any pain. I can, yes. It's not as sore anymore. Good, you're stretching it. Yeah, you definitely helped me a lot, Dr. Kath. Thank you. I'm so glad I was able to help you. You know where I'm at if you ever need me again. Make sure you get lots of rest and just take it easy on this leg for the next little while, okay? Sounds good. Thank you so much.